If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get involved. If this is happening to you, here's how to fix the problem till Microsoft releases an update. To make things work again, the following items need to be turned on again. Let me show you how this is done. To make the suggested changes, you'll need to open up Control Panel. Yes, it's still there in Windows 11. Let me show you the easiest way to open the Control Panel. Simply go to your search and type Control, and you'll notice Control Panel comes up as soon as you start typing. Select it. Now Control Panel is open. We want to select Programs. Next thing we need is Turn Windows Features On or Off. Select it. And the items we're interested in is NetFrame 3.5 and NetFrame 4.0. But we have to make sure that all the features in these items are actually selected. So click on the plus sign to open each one of these. And you'll notice that there are some items that are unchecked. That's the problem. So check the items. And then select OK. It's now searching for the required files to turn these items back on. It's now applying the changes. This does take a few minutes to complete. In this video, I'll be speeding up the part where we wait. But have some patience, allow it to do what it has to do in order to make the required changes. Windows completed the required changes. Close this. Although it doesn't ask for a restart, anytime you make some major changes, my suggestion is take that extra step, restart your system, and after that's all done, you should now be back in business and hopefully the next fix doesn't break something else. Now that you've made the suggested changes, things should return to normal, at least till Microsoft releases the next update. Some have suggested to remove KB5013943, but this is strongly discouraged as it will leave your system unprotected from the latest security threats addressed by this update. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.